Alright guys, hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Oblivion walkthrough. So, in this episode, uh, what I just did is I just sold some stuff at Thorinir. Um, and if you can remember last time we left off, I was at about 5,000 gold, so I'm not at 12,000 gold. So I did sell quite a bit of good stuff. I did go through a couple dungeons. Unfortunately, um, I did do a couple quests, and because of audio problems, I lost all the audio to those. So I could do post-commentary over 35 minutes of footage, um, which not only would absolutely kill my voice, and it would just be really difficult for me to think of things interesting to say and entertain you guys for 35 minutes straight when I've already been through it all. But, so we're not going to do that. Uh, what I just decided to do is just say, screw it, we're just going to continue on with what I have and not even worry about the uh, 35 minutes of audio that was erased uh, because my microphone jack sucks and does not work very well. Uh, it keeps unplugging the microphone and it, there's no notification. Um, if I'm not playing Oblivion, if I'm in my, um, what's it called, if I'm at my main computer screen, not in actually inside a game, it'll make a sound and tell you if the microphone was unplugged um, so that's much easier but if you're actually in oblivion it doesn't tell you so it just you know you can start up the game and the microphone jack can immediately unplug and you have no clue until 35 minutes later when you want to save the audio file and there is no audio file but uh... that's just how it goes sometimes so anyway um, I'm gonna try my best to keep my spirits up not get too down by it but uh... we completed two major guild quests but they kind of went hand in hand. Um, we got both quests at the same time. Basically, I went into one dungeon, killed a bunch of dudes, um, got a helmet, and then I went into another dungeon, killed a bunch of dudes, got an amulet, and I had to turn those two items into the leader of the Mage Guild. And I got um, those quests completed. I don't think I actually got much of a reward or anything, but anyway, you know, that was about all. So you guys didn't miss out on anything, it was just me going to do two dungeons and killing a bunch of dudes. And the dungeons were very similar to pretty much every single other dungeon in this game. And I almost died, because one of the dungeons was quite difficult. But anyway, we got through it. Um, so we're now at the next part of the Mages Guild, which is we need to meet up with some battle mages, these dudes right here, and attack this ruin, I guess. You're here to yeah, I'm here to help. What's up? Yep. Okay, what do I do? Do I talk to you? No? I think she's the leader. Women usually are in most situations. But uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do here. Okay, so what do we do now? Oh yeah, um, enemies are going to come out of the gates. And we have to, I guess, ambush them. I have to admit, I'm better with an axe than I... There are two good locations. Up close, because you're an axe woman. I'm ready to now you basically well, just have to ask what they're good at. In magic, especially okay, so you want to stand far away because you are a magic I'm user? What are you? I can manage with a weapon or with spells, but I've re okay, he's a healer. Of course the dude is the wimpy healer. Wait, did I tell him to go up close? No, 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 no. You're the healer. You're the wimpy one. No. I'm as ready. Keep your distance. Oh. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so the wimpy healer needs to keep his distance. It's funny how the most manly one among oh, them is a lady, but she is a red guard, so that's, that's why. Okay, so what do we do? Just wait? Do we just wait? Really? Are they going to come out? Oh, there they are. There's the enemies. Have they already seen me? Yep, they already seen me. Falcar has fled back into the ruins of Cylarn. Um, I don't think I was supposed to run out like that, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, let's dispatch these evil necromancers. Die. You're dead. And he didn't drop any potions for me, which was quite mean of him. You guys going to follow me now? Get the gem. Get it. Okay, you're just going to leave me on my own and make me go into the big scary ruins all by myself. I see how it is. Alright, so since they're not too interested in uh, doing anything besides just hanging out there, uh, we have to go into the ruins by ourselves and I guess get a gem? I don't know. don't really know what that means. I don't know anything about this. Probably because I haven't been paying attention, but... Oh, that's my scamp. I was going to say, what are you doing? 
I thought you belonged to me. But he wasn't attacking me. No, do not unequip. There we go. Some of the times I forget my keybinds. Two is healing. Three is sword. Okay, remember that. And five is scamp. I really need to get a better uh, summoning creature because I'm almost 100 conjuration. I still only have a crappy scamp as my summon. That's really bad. I also should get some better arrows. Oh, don't heal. There we go. I got her just before the heal took effect. And took her out. Marksman is increased. I should be getting pretty close to 50 marksman as well. Because um, I've been training it for a long time. So this is an alien ruin. Which, as you guys know, means puzzles and traps galore. Sneak skill increased. I'm happy about that. That skill is so hard to level up unless you power level it. Hit me. There you go. You're dead. I love fighting necromancers. It is awesome. They don't own your face like some of the other monsters in this game. Alright. Sneaky, sneaky mode activated. And there's another necromancer. One thing I have found out is uh, it's you're less accurate when you actually firewall walking. So just a little fact there. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um... For some of you that have been watching this for a while, you might remember that I got this uh, spell from the Mage's Guild quite a while ago as one of the rewards from the first Mage's Guild quest. Um, so I have been trying it out a little bit, and it's actually pretty decent. So I'm going to use it here just to show you guys what it's like. Sneak up on this guy. Um, even though you can't do sneak attacks with magic, it's just easier that way. So, boom. Oh. It's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be, but anyway, I was using it earlier, and it was doing pretty well. Uh, the one nice thing about it is it doesn't use up much Magicka, and it also is damage over time. So hey, there's more Welkin Stones here. I'm going to take advantage of those, but there. So as you can see, uh, that spell that I got from the Mage Guild is pretty decent, um, considering how little Magicka it uses. Like, I have one that's better, or I have like a Shock spell that does about the same amount of damage, I think, but it uses like twice the amount of Magicka, so... Um, that's why this spell is really good. Because this does 48 damage total when you uh, factor in the damage over time. And the shock spell that I do does 45 damage, but it does it instantly. But the shock spell is, for one, it's a touch spell, and for two, um, it just uses like way more Magicka. So this spell is probably a lot better for me to be using. But anyway, I am getting some healing potions, which is always nice. Uh, I was running really low on those. It's always good to have a few just as a safeguard in this game. So, Welkin Stones are also great to have. Um, Magicka is almost as good as healing when you really need it. So I think we need to get through that gate, and to do that, we're gonna have to find a switch of some kind. Oh, did he notice me? Nope. Take him out! Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal! Oh, he healed. Oh, I got him. I still got him. And he's dead. He fell over before he died. I don't uh, before he completely died, at least. I don't exactly know how that happened. Um, I also have absolutely no idea where we're going right now. Where I am going with this. I think this... I've already actually been this way. This looks really familiar, but of course, Iliad Ruins always look familiar. There's not much variety. Let's see, do I have any clue where I'm going? Not really. So let's go back. Yeah, I've already been here. Let's go back into the main room here and see if we can't find a switch of some kind to open that gate because I need to go through there. Um, of course, alien ruins always have to be a complete disaster if you have no idea what you're doing. Um, we could try down here. I haven't explored down here yet. Usually the best thing to do in places like this is just to explore everywhere you haven't been. Or have I already been here? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't been here yet. Destruction! I haven't been destroying my, training my destruction much, and I really need to, because it is one of my major skills, so I guess I'll use this spell for a little bit. Unless he freaking heals himself, and I'm out of arrows. I'm actually not out of arrows. I do have some steel arrows. I just need to equip them. I'm out of iron arrows. I was just trying to use up my iron arrows. So let's go ahead and equip the steel arrows. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to check really quick. Any chests here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, sneaky sneaky mode. Oh, I'm probably going to have to go deeper into the ruin as well. Might as well. Don't see anywhere else to go. 
Is it just telling me to go right back out? Yeah, it is. Um, but as alien ruins go, there's a very good chance the switch to open that gate could even be in this part of the dungeon. It does happen. Where are you? I don't even see you. There you are. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take you down, son. Son. I love that word. I don't have a son, but I just I really like that word for some reason. Oh, looting chest while combating. Typical OCD awesomeness. Combating is like the weirdest way you could ever call fighting people, but that's what we're gonna stick with for now. Sneaky mode, bow out. It's always good to get that pul preliminary, pulmonary, pulmonary is not the right word, preliminary damage out. Scamp, meat shield, boom. Jump, jumpage, and I saw some alchemy stuff on the table there, so if we're lucky, we'll be able to get that expert alembic. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I also wish you would stop, stop running. Really, you jerk. Boom. You're done. Sit down. Alright, she is done for the day. I don't feel too bad, because she doesn't actually exist. She's just a fictional character. But more Welkin Stones. I'll take those. Another Welkin Stone. Oh, this is novice crap. Really? Why would you do this to me, game? I don't need novice crap. More Welkin Stones. Take those. If you don't know already, every single Welkin Stone is an entire full recovery to your Magicka, so they're kind of like Super Magicka Potions. Depending on how high your Magicka skill is, um, if you, or you're not your Magicka skill, depending on how high your intelligence is or willpower or whatever, um, even the strongest potions in game will not give you a full restore, so Welkin, Welkin Stones are great in that regard. Okay. I did not sneaky sneaky mode him effectively, unfortunately, so no chests back there. Uh, alien runes always have this nasty habit of hiding chests in like corners where you wouldn't expect them to necessarily be. But that wasn't the case here. Alright, let's see. Down here, there is an unopened gate. I'm gonna change that. Um, ooh, you know what? You know what? This might turn out to be a wise idea. Just watch. Oh, maybe there isn't a trap here. I was expecting, like, blades to come out of here or something like that. Which often does happen. Boom. Sit down. Oh. A block. Uh, that is not the block I was looking for. This is not the block you're looking for. Ha. Ah, if you get that reference, feel free to dislike the video. And get Scamp out as Meat Shield slash Damage Helper Giver. Don't want to hit hit my own Scamp. I don't like these Skeleton Heroes because they're tough to kill. They're annoying because they block you all the time and their drops are crap. Okay, come on. Stagger you, you're dead. Thank you very much. Already took his Bone Meal. I really hope you're not eating bones as a meal. That would be a little bit disgusting. Okay, before we go underwater, it's always good to get out your buoyancy. Really quickly, so we don't drown or anything horrible like that. Chest, gold, crap. Uh, what is the point of this? Why am I down here? Is there some secret that is hidden beneath the waters. It's a slaughterfish. It's not that secretive though. What was the point of making this large underwater area if there's nothing in it? Come on, there's gotta be something hidden down here, something really awesome. Oh, it's just like Bethesda to do this, create this awesome underwater area and then absolutely nothing in it at all. Uh, what was the point of that, really? Is this just, like, an area to be in if you want to, but there's nothing actually down here? That is so crap. I don't know why they did that. That was the most pointless thing that I have encountered all day long. Uh, whatever. I'll get over it. Okay, so where am I going? 
This is turning out to be a really huge video, or not video, it's going to be a huge video. It's going to be like 20 gigabytes worth of video files, and I don't have the largest hard drive, so sometimes that is quite painful. But, regardless, it's going to be a huge dungeon, is what I meant to say. I hope that's my scamp. I hope that this is the block that we need to press to open the awesomeness. It is. So, I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to like glitch yourself up here without having to go through the whole dungeon expert calcinator. I already have one, but I'll take it because it's worth five hundred dollars. I have a weird thing of talking like that when I'm in a good mood. Um, I haven't really been in a good mood while playing video games all that much because um, it's it might not be the same way for some of you guys, but if you're someone who's been really involved with YouTube, like, like I have for nearly three years now, um, I uploaded my first video uh, one month away from three years ago, so in one month it'll be three years that I uploaded my first video. Um, I mean, you can't, you don't usually just play video games for fun. Um, I mean, making videos is fun, and playing video games is fun, but when you feel obligated to make a video every time you play a video game, sometimes that isn't always fun. I want this Varla stone. Give me the varlet. What was the point of that? You put a switch right here that opens the... I don't understand. I really... I'm just... My mind is boggled with how retarded that was right now. Please don't notice me. Oh! And it's Falcar! What? <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be good as well? Why is everyone bad? Why is every single person bad? Maybe he wasn't supposed to be good, but... Yeah, I thought this guy was supposed to be like a good guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he looks a lot like the Count Janus Hasseldor. Wouldn't you guys agree? Doesn't this guy look exactly like the Count? I mean, they're they're the spitting image of each other. I don't know how that happened, but please die. Please please just die. I don't want you in my life anymore. I'm sorry. I've had enough of you. This is a one-sided relationship. Die. Please. I've had I've had quite enough of you. You've been doing a ton of damage, so is that dagger enchanted? Dagger of freezing. I'm taking that. Colossal black soul gem. That black soul gem is the biggest black soul gem I've ever seen. But uh, anyway, some chests of lootage. Typical. Just auto attempt spam it up. And some crappy potions. Also typical. And some sneaky, sneaky ownage of this skeleton guardian slash hero. It's a skeleton hero. I don't get skeleton guardians anymore because I'm too beast. I think I'm like level 14 now. I did level up once off camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Why are... What's with all the skeleton heroes? Seriously. This is not skeleton hero day. Actually, it probably kind of is, but... Anyway. Oh, there's a skeleton guardian. Thank you. Lower level guys, I love you. I hope that skeleton archer hero dropped like some dwarven arrows or something, because he was doing a lot of damage. Or, you know, glass arrows, if we're lucky. I need to heal up, or I'm gonna die. I can always just, like, strafe away and, you know, use arrows from a distance, but it just takes a lot longer to kill people that way. I wish that I had, um, 100 intelligence or 100 willpower, one of the two. Whatever is the one that makes your Majika regenerate really fast. I wish I had 100 in that skill, so my Majika was just like, no problem, bro, I got this. You just take a break. I will regenerate so fast, I'll make your head spin. Or, of course, if I was a filthy, dirty cheater, I would just duplicate a ton of Welkin stones and have unlimited Majika that way, but I'm not a filthy, dirty cheater. I'm not going to cheat at all in this Let's Play, believe it or not. Even for the stuff that I do off camera, I am doing it 100% legit. Not even lowering the difficulty or anything, even though I could do that. Okay, these guys are almost dead. Please die. Just, I'm done with you. Be gone. You foul bean. One more. One more hit. You're done. Alright, I used up way too many arrows there. I don't even have that many arrows. Like, I was like, you know... You get arrows so much, I'm probably not even going to have to worry about them. But that's not true. I am having to worry about them, because I just... Did I really just pick up a crappy mace? Where are you? Get out of my life. Okay. 
we're done with him. But uh, let us loot our awesome chests that we get as reward. That wasn't that awesome. Oh, awesome chest. It's even got a hard lock. It's got to have some good loot, right? Ring of Storms. Resist Shock. And, uh, resist Shock Ring is okay. I mean, I'll wear it just because I only have one ring right now. And you can wear two. So I'll wear it just because it's there. But uh, honestly, that's not that great of an enchantment. What does that do? What did it do? I guess nothing. Alright, let's continue out of the dungeon. Dun dun dun! Nothing to say! Because all we're doing is leaving a dungeon. Okay. See a Cylorn. Really? That wasn't the exit? Why couldn't you have just made an exit there? That would have been so much more convenient. Are you going to be an awesome loot chest? Probably not. Potion of Night Eye. How did I guess? Are you going to be an awesome loot chest? I'm guessing that you won't be. Grand Ring of the Viper. Resist Poison. Journeyman Alembic. I really wanted an expert Alembic. Uh, journeyman Alembic will do for now. I mean, it's better than novice, but it's still not exactly what I was looking for. How do I get out of this foul place? Oh, this direction. Okay. I think I can handle that. Goodbye, Cylorn. I won't be coming back, even though you were a pretty fun dungeon. I did enjoy my time in Cylorn. Map, University, let's go. Load, please. Thank you very much. So, let's go turn in this quest, and we're getting really close to the end of the Mages Guild, guys. Be aware, there will not be very many more Mages Guild quests. So if you're a huge Mages Guild fanboy, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's going to be over pretty soon. I did! Oh my goodness! Yes, I'm ready. I'm not actually annoyed at this guy, I'm just kind of playing. Oh. Uh, well then. <laughs> he just killed himself. Oh yeah, why he killed himself was to fill the colossal... Uh, black soul gem, which apparently you need to fight the king of worms and defeat the king of worms. So that is why you become the archmage. Because the real archmage kind of bit the bullet a bit. He kind of croaked. He kind of got bumped off by himself. Inception. But, um, anyway, in the next episode, I'm sorry, yeah, I have to end it off here. I'm so sorry, but the next episode will be up tomorrow. But anyway, confront the king is the next quest, so I am now the Archmage, and he has tasked me with stopping the King Worms. So the final quest in the Mage's Guild uh, is going to be tomorrow. And you guys you guys are going to be absolutely, completely jacked for this one, I can tell. But, um, yeah, tomorrow, when I return, we will confront the King of Worms and kill him and become the most awesome king of all time. So yeah, that's about it. Farewell. See ya. Peace.